So Sumo Day 2024 is Woo! finally here. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing one of the tools in the promotion, and that is Mini Course Generator. Now, I'll demo the tool for you guys so you'll know whether or not this is a tool you should be getting before the promotion is over. Now, to celebrate Sumo Day, I'm doing my first ever free giveaway. Now, let me show you what it is. Okay, so AppSumo recently sent me tons of amazing swag, and I wanted to share it with one lucky winner. Okay, so the lucky winner will receive this really cool beach volleyball. And while you're at the beach, you could lay on the sand with this really nice beach blanket. And you can listen to music with this portable Bluetooth speaker from JBL. And you could store all of your stuff in this really sleek um, fanny pack. And you can network, share your information, your business card digitally with Link Tap. Okay, it looks like this. And you can write using this Fisher Space Pen. Okay, so a very high quality, uh, very expensive pen. And last but not least, you will win this Tesla Cybertruck. Okay, Hot Wheels Tesla Cybertruck. Now to enter this giveaway, all you need to do is click the link in the description, fill out the form, and the next step would be for you to purchase through my affiliate link. Then just email me your receipt to be entered into this free giveaway. Now I will also send you the link where you can actually win the real uh, Tesla Cybertruck from AppSumo. And I will also throw in my free Google spreadsheet of all of the Sumo Day deals you can take advantage of right now. So good luck. Okay, so if you've been struggling to launch your first course, Mini Course Generator might be a good tool for you. Okay, so this is the back end, and all of your courses are organized into various collections. So I created a collection called Affiliate Marketing Bootcamp with two courses inside. So to create a course, just click on Create a Course, and you have two options. You can create a course from scratch or use their AI Course Creator. So I'm gonna click on AI Course Creator, and it's very simple. All you do is just follow the three steps, okay? So the first step is to describe your mini course idea. So I'm gonna give it a profession. So I'm gonna put down SEO, and the target audience is entrepreneurs, and we need to put down the description of the course. So I put down a course on how to write quality SEO optimized content. Then the next step is to generate the title. So it generated five title options for us. I think this one looks good, optimizing your content for SEO, the ultimate entrepreneur's handbook. Now you can tweak uh, these titles if you wish by clicking on the pencil to add anything you want. You can also write your own title. Now I'm gonna click on generate outline. Now the AI will generate the entire course outline for us. Okay, so within less than a minute, we have an entire course outline okay so each chapter has a heading and each lesson has a subheading within it you can review it and make tweaks to it if you wish by clicking on the pencil so we can delete parts of it you can move uh, the subheadings up or down you can move the headers as well just by dragging it and if you don't like the outline you can have the ai generated again and if you want to delete certain parts you can just basically click on the delete icon now you can also add a header by clicking add a header add your header and a subhead just by typing it in and you can also have the ai generate images for each section okay so it says 19 credits will be used for images so actually let me delete this okay so 18 credits now will be used for images so all we do is click on generate mini course okay so within a few minutes we have our course completed so the left hand side is where you navigate the course this is the outline and you still have the opportunity to edit um, each heading if you wish. And if you click on each heading, you will go to that specific section. So this is the first one, Understanding SEO. And this image is the AI generated image, right? Now you can delete it, replace it with your own image or upload your video. Now, most likely you will be recording. So you will be uploading videos and this is where the video will be and the AI generated uh, all of this text as well. And the text 
is for each uh, section section or each card. Now you can edit the text in each section by deleting it, adding things. Uh, you can make things bold, italicized. Uh, you can also change the formatting of the text as well. So if, you, for example, you highlight this, you can change it to that. And if you click on HTML, this is how it really will look like when someone is uh, reviewing and using the course. So you highlight it and then you can change it to various headers, make it bold, italicized, um, highlight it, and so forth. So really nice editing options. Now you also can click on this blue button to add additional card types. So you can add the information knowledge card type, which are basically the ones that you see here are the general um, information card types. You can have AI assist you. You can also add a gateway where it's a password. So if you want people to input a password to continue with the course, you can do that. You can add a multiple choice section. You can also add a last card for completions. So if you complete it, you can show them a certificate or anything like that and also ask for feedback. Now let's say we want to add a quiz question. So I'm going to click on one correct answer, add a card title. You can add your image here if you wish, then add your question and then add your multiple choice. And I'm going to select the correct one. And that is this one. And we are done. And I'll show you how it looks like in a moment. Now for each card, you can call the AI assistant to continue where it left off, correct grammar, summarize and shorten, rewrite it, or create an AI powered image. You can also add a link, add a PDF as well, or you can delete it. Now after someone finishes the course, usually they would need to be quizzed. So that's why you can click on add AI quiz and AI will generate an entire quiz for this course. All right, so within a few minutes, it generated five quiz questions for us. So this is the first one. You can add an image or video, and this is the question. So what is the recommended character limit for meta descriptions to ensure they display correctly in search engine results? Okay, so these are four options, and then it selected the correct one. And then this one is quiz question number two and so forth. Okay, so very easy to truly create a thorough, complete course now let me scroll all the way back up you can change the theme as well let's click on this one click on apply okay and then click on view all right so this is the course and then you can click on next to go to the next card and then next again so this is a question right and then it's correct awesome and then you go to the next lesson so really nice and i'm going to change the theme back to the default one click on apply your theme and click on preview again and here is the course the default theme i kind of like this one where you have the outline on the left and the main content on the right and this is how it looks like this is how it would consume the course so once they consume the first section they click on continue to go to the next one they answer it they can click on continue and then go on to the next lesson and continue to learn and you can also edit additional settings as well okay so if you click on settings you can change the title and the logo you can update the seo elements like the title the description the favicon you can have mini course generator index this on google if you wish and there's also advanced settings as well like allowing learners to proceed only sequentially okay so they can't skip you can also notify by email when someone completes the course and also add header and body scripts as well maybe google analytics or any other type of scripts to add additional elements or tools onto your course there's also webhooks and you can also choose the language and name parts of your course so start course if you want to say something like begin now you could do that and just tweak it however you wish then click on save and there's also the report and i'll show you the report in a moment and then you can also share this course as well so you can share it with a link embed it on your website or export it to pdf now i really like the embed on website because it allows you to have your audience engage with your website have them stay on your website longer and it might improve your SEO because the longer people consume information on your website, stay on your website, there is a possibility that your website will increase in the rankings. Okay, now let me go back to my collections. So we have three courses in this collection titled Affiliate Marketing Bootcamp. Now you can edit the landing page, okay? So you can edit the heading, the title, the description. You can also add your logo. Now let me show you how it looks like. So I'm going to click on View. So this is the landing page where people can decide which course to take. Now, when it comes to taking the course, you have options to 
select various learners access. Now, if you click on learners access, depending on how many codes you purchase during the Sumo Day deal, um, you will unlock more learners access options like enabling a paywall. So you can actually earn money from your course by enabling a paywall. Okay, so you can select Stripe, Lemon Squeezy, or Pabbly. You can also enable access to specific learners. So learners are organized into various groups. I have three groups. And if you want to do a specific set of learner, learners, just click on the group and click on send mail, and they'll get an email where they can access the course. And you can also enable access with in-app authentication. So very advanced. Now I like the enable access after double opt-in. All right. Now this will basically have people sign up and when they sign up, they'll get an email. And in that email, there is a button to access the course. So this is what it means. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. And you can also update the custom domain. This is your share link. So when you set up your custom domain, you can select your custom domain in this dropdown and then copy it to the clipboard and share it online. And then you can embed this as well. So on your website. Now, let me show you the access after double opt-in. Okay, so I'm going to get the link, the share link copy to clipboard. And this is my landing page. So if I wanted to take this course, click on that and you can see the entire outline and you can click on begin now or you can click on begin now at the top. If you click on it, this is the opt-in page. Okay, so they would need to put in their first name and email and then get access to link. All right, so that is basically the this option here, the second option to have people enable access after double opt-in. Now, let me show you the email. So this is how the email looks like. So once they opt in on the form, you need to verify email address and that's a double opt-in. And you can also check analytics, okay? So you can see how many people are in this course and how far along they are. So the reports are in this CSV file. So you can view the user ID, the answer date, and you can see how far along they are with consuming the lessons. So a great report to take a look at to see how many people are consuming and finishing your course. All right, now let's click on learners. So all of your learners are organized into various groups here. So when you click onto a group, you could view the learners first name and la uh, name and email. And you can also add, manually add a learner as well by adding their name and email. And again, custom domains. So you can upload um, your own custom domain here. And lastly, there are automation options. Okay, so you can connect Zapier or Make. So you can send information to different email autoresponders or different CMSs that you have. So basically, you can connect Mini Course Creator with 7,000 plus apps with Zapier. So if you want to send all of your learners into your mailer lights, you can select that to automatically push people to your email autoresponder along with other types of workflows as well. Okay. And there's tons of them as you can see. All right. So that is mini course generator in a nutshell. Now, if you are interested in getting this tool during Sumo day with one code, you have access to uh, 30 mini courses, five gigabytes of storage, three AI powered mini course generations, and all of these additional features as well. And one code does allow you to add your C name. Okay. So your custom domain. Now you can also stack. Okay. So if you stack one additional code, you get unlimited mini courses, 20 gigabytes of space with payment wall of Stripe integration. And you also get 10 AI powered mini course generations per month. Now, if you stack two additional codes, it'll increase your storage amount and also increase the AI powered mini course generations per month to 15. So I think a really, really nice deal that you can take advantage of during Sumo Day. Now, if you want to take advantage of my free giveaway, again, click the link in the description, fill out the form, and then purchase either this tool or any other tool during Sumo Day, and then email me your receipt, and I'll enter you into my first ever free giveaway. And I will also throw in this uh, free checklist I'm currently building out of all of the Sumo Day deals in this checklist. So you can take a look at it at a glance so you can see which tools you want to purchase uh, during this limited time promotion for Sumo Day. Okay. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button, 
subscribe to my channel as well. And if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.